dot on your target, then you blow the shit out the motherfucker. No joke. I'll tell you what to do, I'll tell you not, what not to do. You got your own freedom of choice. I tried to destroy my record company with the help of others, Dre. So right now we're getting everything back together and we finna come out, you know, fully loaded. Fully loaded. And if there were ever any doubts about the words rising popularity, they were answered last year. N.W.A.'s second album, entitled Niggas for Life, rose to the top of the Billboard's pop chart after only its second week out. One word dominated many of the album's songs. You guessed it. I'm a nigga, he's a nigga, she's a nigga, we some niggas, wouldn't you like to be a nigga too? Gangster rap, I guess it's like telling the real and not holding back, giving up, you know, the reality from the street point of view. And like by us being from the streets, we know how to report it. I tell, you know, basically what's going on. Easy e grew up on the mean streets of Compton, California. He's a gangster rap original with a long police rap sheet and a top 10 pop album. And they say rap promotes violence and gangster rap does this and everything else. And I don't think gangster rap promotes violence at all. I think it's the person, you know. A song, a rap song doesn't make a person go out and shoot people or go out and rape people and everything else. I think it's the person. I have some lyrics here from some of the songs that you've done in your career. And to be very honest, many of this, much of this I can't even say on television, but I want to read some of this to you. Um, so what about the bitch that got shot? F her. You think I care about a bitch? I ain't a sucker. Right. Um, songs That's titled... That's not talking about women, though. What is it talking a about? A lot of them bitches. It's a difference. I figure a bitch is uh, someone that does like scandalous things to you. You have another. <laughs> you have another song called "Real Niggas." Why do you guys call yourself this word that has well, been? We so have. Nice? We didn't. We didn't give ourselves this name now. <laughs> but right now in society, you guys are calling yourself niggers right. a lot more than real niggas. Right. Niggers a lot more than we, real niggas. We didn't give ourselves that name. Call us niggas for years, and so we carry that word. We right now the word is like saying homeboy. Can I ask you a question about you personally? Is there a misconception about Easy E that you would like to look into the camera and clear up? Because we hear so much, we see so much. What would you like to say about Easy? Let me see. First of all, I want to start off with uh, those studio gangsters out there. That been no, no, wait, wait. What's a, what's a stu I, just, I just want to define it for middle America, a studio gangster. It's somebody that's not real. They go in the studio and all of a sudden become hard when they used to do dance music. <laughs> okay. I'll tell you about it a little later. Okay. okay. I don't believe nothing they say anyway. Yeah. Talking about I ganked them for whatever. And all that, so don't ever believe everything you hear. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Feet are funny, aren't they? <laughs> um, just come to him, man. Yeah, yeah, I really am flattered. Um, guys, where, where, where do we go next? I had no idea that you make money. A product from Dr. Dre and Snoop. Now, how did that work out? Basically, I had Dre uh, signed as exclusive producer and exclusive artist. Mm -hmm. So when Dre tried to make his deal on the at Interscope, you know, I was included for the next six years. So you can say all you want to say. Basically, you can diss me all you want, but I'm going to get paid. 
because that's why I say Dre Day is only easy as payday. And that's real. <laughs> You wouldn't know if you've been to jail. <laughs> it's not something you forget. Well, you know, a lot of the rap stars haven't been to jail. In a way, it looks bad that they haven't. You know, that was the uh, plot of a movie, CB4. Yes. These guys decided, you know, we're not getting anywhere being straight-up guys. So right. Let's pretend to be gangsters and say we've got Someone records. Someone like Dre, right? Right. Yeah. Dr. Is he Dre. pretending to have a record? <laughs> Uh, pretending to be a gangster. I mean, he was from a group called the World Class Wrecking Crew back in the days, and he used to wear lipstick, lace, eyeliner, biker shorts. Oh, really? Dresses. Let me ask you something. Now, Dr. Dre is this guy who was in Niggas with Attitude. So, how did you meet Dr. Dre? How did you meet Niggas with Attitude? Oh, in the I ghetto? Formed, I formed uh, Niggas with Attitude. Could he get Dr. on the Dre, mic? Dr. Dre, he is on the mic. That's the sick part of it. Oh, he's got a very soft voice. Yeah, yeah, can you hear? There he is. You know, Dr. a lot of these. Dr. Dre, Dr. Dre, I took Dr. Dre from a group called the World Class Wrecking Crew, which he was a good producer at the time. Right. Which they used to do love songs like ballads and techno music. Right. Did they have any hits? Uh, they had a song called um, Fly, Cabbage Patch, He's Bionic, Surgery, and uh, had one called Turn Out the Lights. So in other words, you picked him to be in Niggers with Attitude? No, I picked him as a producer. A producer? He wasn't even in Niggers with Attitude. And then we put him in the group, you know. And he never was originally from the streets, so he never was into the gang thing or whatever. He was, hey, he was no, he was no uh, locker and stuff like he that. He was no gangster. Never. All right. Were you a gangster? I guess I was. You were. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. See, that's good. Is that good? That gives you credibility. You never kill anybody. How many people you killed? It's about seven. Seven oh, people dead. All right. See, that makes him good. Why aren't you in jail? <laughs> He's right. Oh, He's on God. furlough. We no, this is him right you were now. In a, you were in a uh, gang, right? Yeah. All right. So you got to be in a gang. Well, you're... wait a minute. Let me ask another question. Were they all to get into the gang? Did you have to do one of those things where you go knock off a woman, old woman with no, a shopping bag or something? Guys. You just knock out guys. Yeah. You yeah. never mess with the old ladies no, and their groceries. The ladies, no. I wonder if I could kick Easy's ass. Well, I, don't I don't know. think so. You don't think so? Maybe I can beat your ass. I don't think you can beat my. Really? Are you packing? You know karate? I know crazy. Do you? Uh, yeah, crazy. You crazy like a retard. You got you packing heat and stuff? Of course. Oh, you are. Let me see. I'm no, no, you're not going to do that. Don't even mess with me. <laughs> don't mess with me. I don't want to shoot you in the studio. Right Thank now. you, dude. <laughs> oh, I catch geez. you on the streets. Yeah, get me on the street. <laughs> so, all right. So, so in other words, you're you're a bad mother, right? So, all you killed was gang guys. Right. Huh? You only killed gang people? Yeah. The gangs would kill each other. Is That's that what okay. you're yeah, saying? Gangs kill each other. Gangs kill each other is acceptable. Mm. So, I kill somebody like carjacking or something like that. Oh, you did all that, too? You did some carjacking? That's before it got, like, real popular. Right. Well, you had to support yourself. Right. So in other and not words, only that, you know, once it becomes commercial, it's me, you know, you don't want to do it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you got to be crazy. These other guys get in trouble after they get famous, because they make a decent money, right? Yeah, they try to just make a name for themselves. Right, okay, so in other words, you're a bad dude, but everyone else they is pretending to be. Yeah. Right. I don't know about you, Robin, but I'm shaking like a leaf in here. I don't know what we're doing here. I'm I don't leaving. Know. I'm leaving. <laughs> Here. It's getting dangerous to even be an interviewer. I know. You don't know who's who's got a bug up their ass. It's just unbelievable. Yeah, suppose he comes in here and he's in a bad mood. Yeah. You're in a bad mood, are you, my, my brother? Nah, nah. Right, okay, take it easy. Yeah, I'm on you. Yeah, take it easy, man. You're... And the, the name of the record... Now, how come it says Dr. Dre on this? Oh, the name of the record is called Dr. Dre Killer. Really? And the whole record is about your hatred no, for Dr. Dre? No, not the Dre. whole record. This is about two songs on there. It's about be how you don't like Dr. Dre? That's how he's portrayed to be a gangster, and he never was from the streets of Compton, and he never was into nothing. All the stuff that he's saying is like a fantasy, you know? Oh, I see. I so gotta tell you talking one. about studio gangsters. So, in other words, if, if somebody wants to be accepted by uh, a lot of the black kids, you gotta say you're from Compton. And you're claiming this... I to say they're from Compton. Right, and you're saying, hey, this guy wasn't from Compton. Basically. I see. He's a studio gangster. I got... Um, why don't y'all just make up? <laughs> he already made up. You ain't never seen him with the lipstick and lace. Oh, no, no, I mean, no. No, I mean. He already made up. You ain't never seen him with the lipstick and lace. Oh, no, no, I mean, no. I <laughs> tried to destroy my record company with the help of others, Dre. So right now we're getting everything back together and we finna come out, you know. Fully loaded. Easy wanted to kill Shook himself. He just wanted to kill Shook. 
and Jerry talked him out of it. Has died in Los Angeles after a battle with AIDS. Easy e whose real name was Eric White, was a member of the group NWA, which helped popularize harsh inner-city rap music. Wright only learned he had AIDS after being hospitalized last month because of some breathing problems. Wright was 31. I'm gonna do Eric Wright, also known as Easy e pioneer gangster rap, a gritty street revolution in the music industry. But tonight, the 31-year-old rap artist is hospitalized in Los Angeles in critical condition. He was admitted three weeks ago complaining of breathing problems, apparently unaware he had been infected with the AIDS virus. Wright issued a statement through his attorney. I would like to turn my own problem into something good. And we'll reach out to all my homeboys. Wright lived the hard life he promoted through his music. He's a self-admitted drug dealer with a criminal record. He's been in and out of jail more than 40 times. Wright is married with a young child but admits to fathering seven children by six other women. The star's publicist says all these women have tested HIV negative. Says all these women have tested HIV negative. Rap singer Easy e has lost his battle with AIDS just 10 days after revealing that he had the disease. 10 days after revealing that he had the disease. 10 days after revealing that he had the disease. <laughs> The 31-year-old rapper died last night in a Los Angeles hospital. He was hospitalized last month for what he thought was asthma and said that he did not know how he contracted AIDS. Easy e whose real name was Eric Wright, was a founding member of the band N.W.A. The band practically originated the hardcore style of gangster rap and was a huge influence in the rap community. Jerry Heller, and I'm here on First Fam Radio with my man Joe Gizzy. Go ahead. Um, a lot of uh, artists uh, today, um, you know, a lot of a lot of them have a lot of you know different points of views they like to speak of you on. So circulating around the uh, music industry is that Easy was injected with a needle um, uh, that had full blown AIDS in this. And I'm not saying that you know you did it or anyone no name or anything, but it's speculated that uh, you had something to do with. Um, that, you can't be involved in that. Yeah, I, I, I would, to, to those people that say that, first of all, that's just ignorant because the only person that didn't gain from his passing away was me. Everybody else uh, that was around gained from it. So I would say follow the money, you know? I'm the only person that didn't gain from it. Because when he was sick in the hospital, that's when I left Ruthless, because uh, I knew he wasn't coming up. That's when I left Ruthless, because uh, I knew he wasn't coming up. Do I yeah. think that something fishy happened to Easy? Absolutely. I don't believe for a second yeah. that, that someone that had as much money as we did and could afford, you know, whatever, like Magic Johnson could and who doesn't even test positive anymore. You know, yeah. I, I don't believe that yeah. he could have possibly died that quickly from from, from, that from, disease. from full blown AIDS. I don't believe yeah. it. Yeah, and I, I think, can't believe it either. I think I, I think that something went on there. And like I say, I have my own ideas about who was involved, but okay. all I'm willing to say is this. I'm the only one that didn't that didn't profit from his passing yeah. away. Let so, me ask you this. I, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I, I wanted to ask you this um, because it, I think it was maybe a year or two. Uh, Judge Knight was on. I think Jimmy Kimmel. And, I uh, saw he, that. And he, I he saw joking, that. And he was joking around. He said, "You know, we got this new thing, that, that easy thing." You know, he was talking well, about. Well, what what he said thing. was he was wearing a. Jimmy Kimmel was wearing a bulletproof vest, and Suge said, why are you wearing that vest? <laughs> and he said, well, you're Suge Knight. And Suge Knight said, we don't do it that way anymore. We just inject you Easy e style. It's real simple. You know, 
Man, I love your show. Like Thank what you. you're doing. Thank Brilliant. you. Right? That's Thank why I'm here. Fresh out of jail, I'll come check you out, right? Right. Why the bulletproof vest? Oh, that's not. Oh, no. That's just. It's your style. You've been you know, in the no, game no, no, for a no, while. No, 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 no. Talk to a horse so, this is a new thing, right? Yeah. See, if somebody gonna do something about it, see, right. technology is so high, right? Right. So if you shoot somebody, you go to jail forever. So kids, you don't want to go to jail forever, right? right? So they got this new thing out that people sell them all the time. They got this stuff to call, they get blood from somebody with AIDS, yeah. and then they shoot you with it. Oh, so well, that's that gonna happen. That's yeah. slow death. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Easy thing, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Well, a uh, shoot's terror alert level just went from elevated to high. Are you worried about the terror? And yeah. nobody. I mean, that was on that. You can still see that on YouTube. Yeah. And nobody, nobody ever questioned that. Yeah. I mean. I, I guess the police just don't care because it was Easy E and he was on the Skinhead's ten most wanted list and yeah, you know I, I guess they just didn't care just like they don't care about Tupac and they don't care about Biggie. Are you telling me that the FBI or the police, with all their technology things that they have at at their disposal, they can't solve a murder? They really? can't solve one of three murders, Tupac or Biggie or Easy E. They can't solve that. Well, that's bullshit, man. I'm just yeah. not going for it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I feel the same way you do about it. California, tried to get on, live homeless out there, end up going back to Cleveland, meeting Easy E, and from then on, it was history. I mean, basically, you know, when Easy E died, man, we felt like it was a conspiracy because at the time he was firing Jerry Heller, you know what I mean? He was getting rid of him, cleaning his house, and then he was perfectly healthy looking, very, very strong, you know what I mean? Then in December, he caught a common cold, you know what I'm saying? Uh, January, he was uh, pneumonia, February, HIV, uh, March full blown dead. Like, I ain't never heard of it happening like that, you know what I'm saying? So, from there on, you know, it felt like, you know, somebody stuck a needle when they took our mentor, you know? Um, how did you find out about that, for real? Because he has AIDS like that. And I said, I told you, Tony, or, uh, but I, I, I never really had told anybody or really I knew none of that stuff. So, during that time, we was even going from, from, any kind of like anything of that first of all you gotta you gotta even think of that tragedy no girl has ever came forward saying that they got the AIDS virus from easy or taint thing i'm gonna tell you what happened with easy getting AIDS, and i believe this to this day and i don't care if you guys got it on film you could tell the world they 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 gave him tainted needles with acupuncture needles that tainted him and gave it to him because he got he got hurt like in Honda Valley on quad runners and he was riding quads and and, and what happened was is that someone I won't say the name but people know the name I don't want to say that name yeah, because no, it's the devil's a name but you know another person in rap you know your history of rap calls him a devil so if you know your history in rap the West Coast rap you'll know who I'm saying but. I was told even in the last conversation from Easy not to even talk to that man. And not only that, but I think that they, they really had a stronghold of giving him tainted needles with with, with the AIDS virus in them through acupuncture because how 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 else could somebody die that fast of AIDS? Have you even, even heard of somebody dying in two weeks of AIDS, bro? Come on, man. This is unheard of, bro. It was like I'm in the hospital, I contracted the AIDS virus. Two weeks later, or March 26th or whatever, I fall out and I die. You know what I mean? It's not, it's just not a, it's, it's the same. It's straight that, that they don't Number seem to. One, that is my company. I'm the sole owner. I have no partners, no nothing. No investors, no partners, no nothing. Uh-huh. I talked, I went into Eric's room and, and 
I think Tamika was in, and Eric wanted to talk to me. He said, Mom, I have something to tell you. And uh, I said, well, tell me then. He said, uh, the doctor said I had something like Michael, uh, um, um, Magic Johnson have, I'm sorry. And uh, I said, you mean to tell me? And then he said, AIDS. 